Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to find the prime palindrome. So first we'll see the logic and then we'll go for implementation. So we need to check a prime palindrome. So this is a combination of two programs. So the first one, we need to check whether number is prime or not. Second step, if number is prime, then we have to check for palindrome, right? If it is palindrome, we can say number is prime palindrome. So this is the thing. So first we need to check for the prime. And the second thing, if the number is prime, then we have to check for palindrome. If it is not prime, we need not go for the step two. Here we will stop. Okay. And here we need to check for the palindrome. And if it is also palindrome, we can say the number is a palindrome, prime palindrome. So prime check. So how to find the prime check? So first we need to find, we need to iterate dividing number with sorry from 2 to n minus 1 right and there should not be factors factors for the given number then we can say it is a palindrome right next sorry prime check Next, palindrome check. So, what we have to do in the palindrome check? So, first, we need to find reverse because the palindrome means if the reverse, if, if the number, if you find the reverse of a number and that is equal to the given number, then we call it as a palindrome. Right? So, that's why the first step is we need to find the reverse of a given number reverse of number second we need to compare given number and reverse of number third if both are equal if both are equal we can say it as a palindrome so we need to check both the things so first we need to check whether the number is a prime and then if it is prime then only we will go with the palindrome now we will start implementing the thing by using a python so first let me take a number n is equal to uh, typecast int input enter number right so now n is having a number now i just want to find whether it is a prime or not the first step is prime so i will give the command here prime check prime check program now so we need to iterate for uh, i in a range of 2 to n what we have to do we have to check whether there are having any factors or not so that means we have to divide that number with i that means a mod if it is equal to zero in any case that implies it is having some factors so if it is true simply initial the flag as one so initially initialize the flag as zero so initially uh, change the flag as one and break the loop because if if there is any one factor for the given number so simply we can say it is not a prime so after that Compare this one. So based upon the flag, you can compare. So if flag is equal to is equal to one, so print n is not a prime. N is not a prime, right? Next, in the false condition, else if it is prime, now we have to check the palindrome, right? So n is prime, and now we need to check the palindrome. So I will give the comment here. 
it is a palindrome check so we have done the two programs individually but now in this program we are combining both the things prime and palindrome now we need to uh, write down the first we need to find the reverse of a number so for that i'll i will take one more variable and assign the n value for x because uh, in the further instructions we are going to update the n value so after that we have to find the reverse number and we need to check for the given number so that's why we are taking a one extra variable some x is equal to n and we have to iterate so we have to iterate while n greater than 0 until the n greater than 0 so we need to find the reminder r is equal to some uh, x okay let us take some uh, x here so x uh, mod 0 x mod 10 so we will get uh, individual digit and then we have to add it to a sum into 10 plus the reminder and finally we need to reduce the number of digits x is equal to x double uh, floor division of 10 and simply <coughs> we can check here if if the sum is equal to is equal to n simply we can say it as palindrome prime palindrome so n is a prime palindrome so if, if it is not correct simply you hear print n is not a prime palindrome right so i am executing this one so let us check whether there is an error or not so i will take 151 which is a prime number 151 is a prime number let us check here so 151 is a prime and uh, there is a sum problem so sum yes so we are updating the sum and but uh, we are not given we have not initialized sum with any value so i am initializing the sum value with zero now let us check again 151 so 151 is a prime and 151 is a prime palindrome let us go with this one so triple one so triple one is not a prime okay it's not a prime because it is having some factors triple one is having some factors right <coughs> So what are those factors you simply uh, print here so that we will get triple 1. So 3 is a factor. So triple 1 can be divided by 3. Okay. So once again uh, execute this one and uh, 171. So which is also not a prime. It is also divided by 3. So like this we can, uh, we can check whether the given number is a prime palindrome or not. Okay. So first we need to check the prime. If it is yes, then only we will check for the palindrome. If it is not prime, it is not, it's not necessary to find the palindrome check. Right? So, for palindrome also, first we need to find the reverse of a number and then we, we have to compare that number with a given number. Reverse of a number with a given number. If both are same, we can say it is a palindrome. So, initially we have checked with the prime. So, it is a prime palindrome. Right? So, hope you understood this one. See, 11 is also a prime and it's a prime palindrome. Yes. So, hope you understood this one. A simple logic. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.